What is up guys? Welcome back to another live in the UU tier today. We're using a team that our friend Brian or Beanast, if you remember him from the GOT, we faced him off in the last uh, game of pools of uh, the group stage where we had the Dragon Dance Latios and we uh, Dragon Clawed our way to victory. Uh, if you remember that, this is a team that he gave me to use on the UU ladder. Now, I already recorded this live and I had uh, my good buddy J Creams or Joey uh, jump into the call on Discord, but for some reason, um, Camtasia didn't record my audio uh, on his end for some weird reason. I don't, I don't know what it is. Um, everything seemed fine. It was recording system audio, and then it just didn't come through properly. Um, his audio didn't anyway. So I'm recording this again. Unfortunately, we did really well too. Uh, we only got one loss in the episode. Uh, let him take over a game. That's the one that we lost. No offense to Joey at all. Like he's he's a good player, uh, but the the one that I let him take control is the one that we lost. So, um, gonna get a few more games with this team. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how it works. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's got two setup mons being um, Stallbreaker Kiss, which we've used before recently, and um, Stored Power. Uh, Calm Mind, Iron Defense, Necrozma, which is really cool. So hopefully we can get a game. Uh, I'm pretty high up on the ladder, actually. We ended up, uh, I think, 19th. Where am I now, actually? Let's find out. EU Beta, and I'll see where I'm at. Uh, I dropped down a little, didn't I? Where am I? EU Beta. Oh, no, I'm here. I'm 22nd. Okay, I didn't drop that much. All right, if we win this, we should jump up to uh, back up to 19th, honestly. Uh, in, oh, my God, no way. No way. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Turkey! <laughs> Guys, this is Turkey. He was also in the GOT. This is hilarious. Oh my god. You know all my sets. Uh, Alright, anyway. Um, I know his team as well. Uh, because it's the team that Chimp used. Uh, so that's Banded Scizor. We used this on our last UU Live, actually. Um, that's uh, a Swords Dance Fangoro with uh, Acid Downpour. So I'm going to have to be very, very careful with that. Uh, now, Togekiss can do some nice work, but I have to be very careful of Aerodactyl. Um, yeah, so let's actually lead off here with uh, Azelf. Has a pretty good lead matchup. Uh, he leads off with Scizor, so not the best. However, I do have Flamethrower, and he doesn't know that. So let's go for Flamethrower. Um, actually, he does know that. What am I talking about? <laughs> He's gonna switch directly into Latias, so good play on his part. Uh, I'm just gonna go for Stealth Rocks here. Maybe he would have over-predicted, but, uh, by the way, I am recording. <laughs> yeah, so he goes for a Draco Meteor, he gets the knockout on us. Uh, I'm gonna Pursuit Trap him with Crocodile. Uh, and, uh, yeah. So we'll get rid of his Latias, which is nice. And, uh, he might Defog here. Which is what I would do, because uh, he just got rid of the Stealth Rocker. We are going to get the um, the Moxie boost, but it's not going to matter much. I probably should have just knocked, honestly, because again, he knows my set. So uh, Now he gets a free U-turn out with Scizor, and it's it's really, really free, because there's nothing I can do about it. Or he can go into Primarina and get a kill that way. Uh, I know what that thing said is it's, uh, it's specs. Um, he goes into Pangoro, which is interesting, because I don't think he's going to go for a Dark move. Uh, not against this. Well, he could. He could. I'm gonna go for Pursuit. Let's see what, uh, what he does. He goes for a knockoff. Okay, good. So he gets rid of my Choice Scarf, which is amazing for me, because now I can Earthquake. So we'll do that. We'll go for Earthquake right here. And, uh, we'll do a ton of damage. We'll knock out his Pangoro. Fantastic. <laughs> we get another plus one. Alright, so we, we made that read correctly. Time to try hard. <laughs> Yep, I knew he would knock there because there was almost no way I was gonna stay in just pursuit again He knows my set. He knows I'm scarfed uh, So uh, that's why I made that play now. We'll see what he does in response to this uh, if he goes hippo I'm probably just gonna knock uh, to Get rid of its item leftovers are a little bit annoying on it. Um, I kind of wanted to keep this thing scarfed specifically for Aerodactyl But I should be able to manage with um, rock polish Cobalion it should be able to clean up, especially if he goes Hippo right here. Which I think he has to, because his Aerodactyl has no way to knock me out directly. Uh, it does not, I, I don't believe it takes this out. Actually, uh, guys, by the way, if you notice this, they uh, updated... It doesn't work yet, but they updated this to include Z-moves, which is really cool. I just want to see Arrow versus... Um, let's see, Mega Aerodactyl versus, first of all, Scizor, Choice Banded. Uh, bullet Punch... No, no, wait, what? <laughs> what am I doing? Crocodile. 
<laughs> Crocodile choice scarf. Uh, wing attack. Give me wing attack. Where is it? Wing attack or aerial ace. Same thing. Um, it only does 56. This is without intimidate. Okay, perfect. So it only does 56%. That's awesome. Uh, he hasn't chosen his play yet. And we will uh, just calc scissor to this thing as well. Choice banded. That's what I wanted to do initially. Uh, Bullet Punch does have a chance to... T Actually, no, it doesn't have a chance to take us out. It does 69 max and uh, plus 2 EQ. Actually, it doesn't knock him out either. Uh, it's, a, it's a roll. It's not a roll in my favor, though. I might just want to knock off that, uh, that Choice Band, honestly. Because that's going to be really annoying. As he's going to go Arrow. Okay. All right. Um, I mean, my play is the Stone Edge no matter what. He doesn't knock me out. And if I can knock out this Aerodactyl, then Togekiss has free reign uh, over his last three months. As he is going to go for Wing Attack, that is not going to knock us out. And we do connect the Stone Edge. That's going to be a dead Aerodactyl. Sorry, Turk. Got to take care of that thing while it's, uh, while it's a problem. In comes Scizor. I think he just Bullet Punches here. So I think I just go Tentacruel. We get up the Toxic Spike. We wear down his uh, Primarina and his, uh, his Hippowdon right now. We go for the T-Spike. He's forced to switch out because he's choice banded. He goes in a hippo. Uh, I think I can live one EQ. So I'm going to go for a uh, Scald right here. Either way, if he gets up rocks, I can just spin them away. So that's going to do a decent amount of, amount of damage. He's not going to burn us. Uh, we're not going to burn him, sorry. And uh, I'm just going to go for another Scald right here. No reason not to. We do have the Black Sludge. So even if he gets up rocks, we can just infinitely spin. We do get the burn on that turn. He goes, he's going to go for a Slack off. That's kind of unfortunate for him. Um... My switch-ins to Primarina do no, no longer exist at all, so I think that uh, just letting this thing go down is fine. I'm just going to keep Scalding. It's only doing 41%, which is a little bit annoying, but um, actually, I could set up right here with Cobalion, get up a Swords Dance, and I think win with Koba. Because um, I can fight him. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to go Cobalion. I'm going to go for the Swords Dance on this turn. If he goes for the slack off, then I just Swords Dance again. It's fine. As uh, he does go for the EQ, that's not going to do much at all. <laughs> wow, that did nothing. Okay, well, I'm free to close uh, to Swords Dance again, I think. Because how much does Scizor's uh, Bullet Punch do to Cobalion uninvested? Cobalion, uh, Swords Dance, Bullet Punch does 23% max. So even if he crits me with the EQ, I should be fine. I'm going to go for SD again. As he goes for a Whirlwind. Oh, good play. All right, I see you, I see you. Uh, that was a very good play on, on Turk's part. Uh, I am just going to go for the Air Slash here, because it does damage the Scizor, and uh, I knew he would go into it because he can't let me set up a Nasty Plot, that's a bad idea. Uh, we'll go Crook here, if he wants to U-turn, that's fine, but I am just sacking off Crocodile. He's going to BP, that's cool, and uh, like we said before, it only does 23% max, so I am just going to go into Cobalion here, and we will set up another Swords Dance. Um, and I think I knock out his hippo from this range. Absolutely. He goes in a hippo now. Awesome. Uh, we will just go for the CC. And, uh, if he switches in Primarina, then it will die to an Iron Head, I believe. As this is going straight down. Fantastic. And then I think I just need to... I think what I'm going to do is I, I might even switch out on Primarina into Togekiss. And then just go for Air Slash. Because if I keep this around, then he loses. I'm pretty sure. Um, his play should be into Primarina here, because Bullet Punch is not going to do anything. Even if he crits me, it's not going to knock me out, and I can just go for an all-out pummeling and knock him out. And then I won't lower my defense again. So, I should be okay. Yeah, in comes Primarina, okay. So now it's decision time. I think I keep this. Um, unless plus two Iron Head knocks out Primarina. Primarina, blank set. Iron Head at plus two. It does not. It does 86 to 101. Again, another roll. And his Scald is going to do a lot. But how much is it going to do to Necrozma? Necrozma with max HP uh, from a 252. I think it's Modest as well. Uh, modest uh, Scald with Choice Specs. Choice Specs. Uh, it's doing upwards of 69%, so I can't make that play. Unless... No, I have to go for Iron Head. It's going to do a lot. It's not going to knock him out, obviously. Uh, his Moonblast is going to take me out. He's going to go down to the combination of Sandstorm plus Poison, which is awesome. As uh, now what I can do is I can go into Togekiss. 
on his scissor, force him to bullet punch me. I'm gonna go for the air slash, um, and he does BP. It doesn't even kill, actually, which is fantastic, as now I can just air slash again. I think he needs a crit on my, uh, on my Necrozma. Basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for the iron defense, and then I'm gonna go for stored power, because it should kill at that point, uh, because it's a scissor, right? So let's go for iron defense. Let's hope he doesn't crit. GG, tell me when you upload this <laughs> later today. <laughs> There we go, we get the iron defense off, and I think stored power is going to kill from here. Uh, I'm not sure, though. We'll go for stored power. He does not get the crit. Fantastic. There we go. Awesome. So, we do beat Turk. GG, man. Awesome. And uh, we are at 1368, which puts us where on the ladder? Let's find out. I think that puts us at uh, 19th, right? No, 20th. Okay. 1368, we're, the, we're at 20th. Alright, that's not bad. Let's keep going. Get a couple more games. Hopefully we don't run into Turk again. That'll just be hilarious. We know each other's teams, so it's a, it's a really weird. It's really weird when you, you're playing like that. I don't like that at all. I prefer to scout, you know, uh, for for sets and stuff. It makes it a little more interesting. But anyway, um, Necrozma can actually beat uh, Quagsire one v one if it doesn't have Toxic, which it should in theory. But ooh, wait a minute. I have an Azelf. With Grass Knot. <laughs> that's that's really useful. Uh, let's lead off with a Zelf, actually. Because he's going to lead off with Bronzong. I'm fine with that. I'm actually going to go for a Flamethrower turn one. And we're going to knock this thing down pretty low because we're Life Orb. And then we'll get up Rocks on the following turn, I think. Hopefully he switches into Scizor. That would be cool. <laughs> Just sack your Scizor. Um, Alamomole is also a play he can make. He's going to stay in with his Bronzong. It's going to get burned, actually. Which is a little unfortunate because now his Heavy Slam's not going to do nearly as much, and I'm going to be able to get up Stealth Rocks on this turn as he goes out into Blissey. Cool. And uh, on Blissey, I can go into uh, Crook, and then just Knock, I think, is fine. Is a fine play. Uh, the reason I'm going Crook is because he could be T-Wave, and uh, if he's Toxic, I have Heal Bell on Togekiss, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, but if he is Thunder Wave, then I'll be able to dodge that. Uh, also, I think he might be Rock's Bliss. Uh, no, he goes for Seismic Toss. Fantastic. That is a 4-hit KO from the looks of it. And I will just go for Knock right here. Because he's going to switch out into a Scizor. And that's going to take a huge hit. Uh, it's going to get its leftovers knocked off as well, which is awesome. And uh, we can just go into Cobalion on this, I think. And, uh, yeah. I think we're okay with that. As... What do I need to do to beat the Quagsire? I think I just need to in against my Azelf, but he's not going to stay in with Quag. That's the thing. I don't think he's going to stay in. It's a good thing we got rid of this thing's leftovers. It's going to be very useful for later. Actually, you know what? Um, no, not yet. Not until Amoongus is gone. I was going to say, let's get up Toxic Spikes, but I think just going Cobalion is fine here. As uh, He's going to go for a Roost. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to double into Togekiss. I think, because his Bronzong is weakened, and that's, that was the only thing that could take on Togekiss. Um, he might just go for a U-turn here, but I am going to go hard into Kiss. I'm expecting a switch out into Amoongus, because it's free, essentially, for him. Um, as he does go into Quagsire. Okay, so this is fine. I can go for a Nasty Plot here, as he's going to switch out into Blissey. Awesome. Okay, so we'll go for another Nasty Plot, and uh, Blissey is, is a stall breaker. It's, it just beats stall. <laughs> that's what it's supposed to do. He's going to go for Toxic. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to go for one last Nasty Plot. Going to get up to Max. As he's going to go for Soft Boiled. Expecting me to attack. And I'm going to go for Heal Bell here. As he's going to go for what? Another Soft Boiled. Awesome. So now we can Air Slash. And if we get, I think, two flinches, this thing is dead. So that's good. 41%. Uh, There's one flinch. We'll go for another Air Slash. Uh, and if he hard switches into Quagsire, it takes an unnecessary hit, which is awesome. He's actually going to forfeit. Um, I wouldn't have forfeited because you have a Quagsire. And if that gets off a Toxic and dodges some flinches, it could beat Togekiss. But it was looking bad for him one way or another. Like his Scizor wasn't banded or anything. It wasn't going to do any damage to my Togekiss realistically. And if I connect that Air Slash, then it's dead. So let's keep going. Where are we now? <laughs> How many? Uh, I, I love checking this, man. Uh, we're 15th. Okay, not bad. Uh, love Paramore, misery business. Uh, this guy was actually in the UPA, believe it or not, under the name Choice Bandit Umbreon. If anybody, any of you know him, uh, I know that Lucas knows him. If you're watching this, um, and a couple of, uh, of 
you out there, such as Mentz, uh, Drew, anybody from the UPA basically, survive. Any of you that watch my videos, Jazz, I know you, you watch my videos. Uh, yeah, so, let's see, uh, let's see if we can catch up to Eagleheart over here. Uh, we're currently sitting at 1385, he's at 14, what, 16? So that's only 30 points away, 30-ish points, yeah. Alright, so we're not too uh, we're not too far off, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. UU is honestly my favorite tier right now, like, by far. Alright, so we get a, an interesting team, to say the least. Uh, I don't want to lead off with a Zelf because Mean is too obvious of a lead. So, I'm going to lead off with Tentacruel, as he leads off with Mean Shao. Okay, perfect. Alright, this works. Um, he has one form of hazard removal, being Togekiss. And if that's his Defogger, then it means it's not a Stallbreaker set, so it's not as threatening. I'm just going to go for T-Spikes then. He's going to go for Knock, it's not going to do much. Um, I have a feeling he's Scarfed. So, if I get up two layers of Toxic Spikes, then his Arcanine gets worn down, so does his Swampert, so does his Volcanion. So, that's perfect. We are just going to go for another layer right here, as he is going to switch out into his Togekiss, that's fine with me. If he's defensive, then he won't have uh, as much uh, speed, which it looks like he doesn't. And he's going to go for a Defog, which is fine, as I am going to spam Acid Spray, I think. No, I'm going to go for another Toxic Spike, uh, as he goes for a T-Wave. Okay, good play, good play. Um, I could just keep Acid Spraying, though. And uh, eventually, it's going to start doing a lot of damage to this. As he's actually going to switch out into his High Dragon, that's fine with me. Uh, I do have a decent check to this in uh, Togekiss. Uh, also, Cobalion switches in relatively easily, but I don't want him to go for a Fire Blast, is my concern. So, I think I'm just going to go for another T-Spike. He might just U-turn as well. Uh, he does U-turn. And uh, we do see Life Orb, so that's good. So, we know he's Scarf Shao, um, Life Orb, uh, Hydreigon. Alright, I'm going to take advantage of this thing. And uh, I'm going to go into uh, Azelf, maybe? Hmm. No, let's just go for another Acid Spray, honestly. Because it goes for Defog, that's fine. Uh, he probably has Air Slash, which means he's going to be able to flinch me down if I stay in here. Uh, more than likely. I am just going to go for another T-Spike, though, just to see. Uh, we do get Parad on that turn. That's okay, though. Um, Alright, I'm going to go hard into Cobalion here. As much as I don't want to. He's going to go into Pert. Okay, so good play. I'll, uh, I'll admit that. We'll go into Azelf here, because I do not want to take an Earthquake. I know he will more than likely set up Rocks. No, he goes for Scald. Okay. Uh, and he does burn me. I'm wondering if he's going to be tempted to stay in. That is my question. Because if I get a Brox, and then I start spamming Psychic on Togekiss, it's going to do a lot. It's Life Orb Psychic. I'm just going to go for rocks. Alright, he does stay in. He goes for his own rocks. Uh, and I'm going to go for a... I'm going to go for a Knot. He does stay in. Bye-bye, Swamper. Awesome. Okay, so that thing's dealt with. Uh, if I can get off a spin at some point, that would be fantastic. It'll probably be against a choice locked, um, a choice locked Volcanion. I, yes and no. I want to go directly into Cobalion at the same time. It's kind of risky. Uh, but if he clicks knockoff or U-turn, it's the best play. I kind of need Cobalion though. It actually just shreds through his team outside of this Mean Shao. If Mean Shao ever locks itself into High Jump Kick, then a Krosma comes in and starts setting up. Which is good and bad, but it, because his Togekiss is going to beat me anyway. Well, it's defensive, so maybe not. Huh, hold on a second. I think I think Cobalion's my play. I'm going to keep uh, Azelf alive, as he is going to go for a U-turn. Fantastic. And he does not have a good countermeasure to this, other than Arcanine, which takes rocks. So, that's fine with me. And, um... Hmm. Can Togekiss just straight beat his team? I think he can. He does go into Arcanine. Uh, I don't see leftovers, so that's very interesting to note. Uh, I really don't want to switch in Crook on a Flare Blitz, <laughs> but I think I have to. Yeah, I'm going to switch in Crook on a Flare Blitz. He is going to go for it, and it's straight going to kill. Okay, so that looks like Banded to me. And uh, the fact that he's Banded means that I can go... Can I just win with Cobalion now? Almost. Almost, as soon as the Mean Shao is dealt with. Um, okay, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to go hard into his elf. And I'm just going to go for a Psychic. If he wants to switch in his High Dragon, that's fine. It takes rocks, and it takes whatever attack I go for after, uh, which is a Life Orb attack, plus its own li uh, Life Orb recoil. So that's fine with me. And his Arcanine is 100% uh, banded. He actually stays in with his Arcanine, which is fantastic. I'm assuming Mean Shao is going to come in. 
Um, did we see if that was Regenerator or not? We haven't seen it yet. So we'll see when he when he switches back in. But typically, Scarf runs Reckless. So... Um, there's Mean Shell. Okay, so it's definitely Scarf. We know that much. I'm gonna go for Psychic. He's gonna go for U-Turn. Again, okay, that's fine. Even though he didn't have a switch into, into um, Cobalion, but that's fine. Um, if his Volcanion comes in, I think I'm going into Tentacruel. Do I go into Tentacruel? Or do I go into Kiss? Yeah, I think I go into Kiss. Kiss is a better play. And we will go for the Air Slash. We'll find out if he's Scarfed as well by doing this, which is great information. Um, I kind of wanted to get rid of rocks, but ultimately they're not that important to get rid of. We do flinch him the first time. Awesome. We are going to go for another air slash here. He doesn't have a switch in on his team, as that's going to do very little. Why is that doing so little? Is he bulky? Is he a salt vest? Hold on a second. Togekiss, Stallbreaker versus Volcanion, because I know its special defense isn't as good as its physical defense. Yeah, air slash should be doing a lot more. That's with no investment, by the way. It should be doing 34 to 40. Which means that he is a Salt Vest. Uh, I'm just going to Air Slash again. Because I don't want to take a Sludge Wave if he has it. Uh, and we do get to kill this thing now. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to Slash again. That's fine. Alright, cool. So, I'm assuming his Mean Shell is going to come in and Stone Edge me. Which is okay. Uh, he actually goes into Togekiss. Alright. Um, I'm just going to go for another Air Slash. We are going to get Thunder Waved, and he's probably going to try to flinch me down. I'm going to go for Heal Bell. Let's see what he does. Does he defog here? No, he just goes for Air Slash. We do not break through on the first one. Let's try to break through on the second one. Um, yeah, this thing is an issue. We do not break through. I'm going to Heal Bell again. And uh, we have to go into Kowalion, and we have to click Iron Head and hope we flinch. He's actually going to go out into his Mean Shell straight away. That's going to take a huge hit. Okay, I'm good with that. Uh, now we can switch out into Tentacruel. And his Togekiss switches back in on rocks, which I don't understand why he made that play. He's going to go for a U-turn, that's fine, but his, his Togekiss is still ultimately going to end up weaker than it was when it switched out. And my Cobalion has a better chance of getting the roll, because I think the Togekiss, like its defensive set versus Cobalion, uh, Swords Dance. Yeah, Iron Head only does 40 to 48. So if he Thunder Waves me, he has a very good chance to win. That's the thing. Oh, but I have Rock Polish. I could always Rock Polish on it. Okay. Um, now, this is a precarious situation. I can't really switch out into Cobal Cobalion. I did want to keep a Sack, but I don't think it's going to be possible. So let's just go try to go for the Rapid Spin. He does miss a Fire Blast. That is amazing. So we are going to get rid of these Rocks. Uh, I could have Acid Sprayed him there, but it wouldn't have done anything. I'm going to go for Toxic Spikes now. Uh, he has to go for Dark Pulse. Like, if he misses another Fire Blast, he takes needless damage. So there we go. Uh, he does actually Fire Blast again, but that's okay. I can now go out into Cobalion. Uh, we can straight go for the Close Combat here. Knock out the High Dragon, which is awesome. And uh, his Mean Shao only has a couple more switch-ins. Um, if it goes for... The thing is, if he goes for a Fighting Move and I switch out into Necrozma, I can win. Uh, because I can switch out. Uh, I can double, basically, back into Cobalion and just Iron Head the Togekiss down, and then he can't lock himself into a move that would kill both uh, Necrozma and Cobalion. So I am going to go Necrozma here. Basically, my thought process is, even if he goes for U-turn or, uh, or, uh, or knock off, I can always Rock Polish up. He is going to go for the High Jump Kick. That's awesome. And uh, I'm just going to go for the... Uh, I think I have to double back into Cobalion, honestly. No, 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 it's fine. I'm going to go for Calm Mind. As he goes out into Kiss. Okay, cool. Go for the CM here. And uh, he's going to Thunder Wave me no matter what. I'm almost 100% sure of that. We'll go for another Calm Mind. We are faster, actually, before the T-Wave. Okay, that's good to note. Um, we do have a lot of special defense, and he does not have any sort of setup. So, whether or not he's going to be able to flinch me down is uh, a question of whether or not he can crit me, I guess. Uh, let's try to Moonlight up. So, that crit did 44, so he should only be doing about 11 to me realistically uh 14 okay there's another flinch i just need him to, to either miss or not flinch or para me on one turn that's all i need and he paras he gets it again gonna go for moonlight please miss <laughs> please for the love of god miss 
as he doesn't... I just need this one Moonlight off. And then we're good. Because then I can stall down his Air Slashes. As we do get off the Moonlight. Okay, cool. Awesome. Alright, so now we're going to go for another Calm Mind. As he is going to go for... A Defog. Okay, cool. That's fine with me. Uh, I get Parrot. That's unfortunate, but it's okay. Uh, Defog doesn't really do anything at this point. I'm just going to go for another Calm Mind. As he doesn't flinch me, so I get off another Calm Mind for free. That's awesome, so his Air Slashes are going to be doing a little bit less. Uh, he's only going to be doing about 5% to me a turn. So, I can actually stall down his, uh, his Air Slashes. Now, at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for an Iron Defense in case he wants to switch out. As we do get it off, awesome. And now we're going to go for Moonlight. Had I gone for Moonlight on that turn, then he would have never been able to beat me. Um, he does get the flinch on that turn. I'm going to go for Moonlight repeatedly. No matter what. I'm at plus two defense as well now, so his knockoff can't kill me from Mean Shao. As soon as I break through, I'm good. Come on. Come on, Necrozma. You can do it, buddy. We're 25 minutes. We're only two games deep. Yes! Beautiful. Good job, bro. He's going to keep going for it. That's fine. He's going to get the flinch. Uh, how many air slashes does he have left? Nine? Okay, that's not enough. That's not enough to beat me. He's going to switch out into his Mean Shao on my stored power. We're going to knock him out, and we're going to keep going for stored power. Like His only hope is to crit me. That's the only way. And we do break through. Again. Awesome. Necrozma. Yo. I don't want to give it thumbnail though. Because I've already given Necrozma a thumbnail. Actually, uh, that was a different thumbnail. Okay. We might give Necrozma a thumbnail. Alright. Uh, let's move into the third game. Let's find out who really gets thumbnail. If it's Togekiss or Necrozma. We've won with both setup mons. So that's really cool. Um, we've only got one left to win with. Which is Cobalion. Basically, my thought process there, guys. Was even if he flinched me all the way down. All I needed to do was go for a Rock Polish when I brought in my Cobalion, and even if he Thunder Waved me with a Togekiss, I would still be faster. And then I would go for another Rock Polish to enable me to be faster than his Mean Shao as well. And then I just had to dodge some Paras, and I, I could still win the game. So, uh, against this guy, um, Crook is looking quite solid to take out the Metagross, which would open the door for Togekiss to sweep. Alternatively, Cobalion can also pull it off with all that pummeling. Uh, but I am going to weaken myself in the process. Alright, so we're going to lead off with Crook as he leads off with Azelf. Uh, I'm just going to go for Knock. Sometimes they, uh, they're they actually Life Orb, so it would be cool if we can knock off its Life Orb. Uh, Avalog is the play that I would make. I could always have Beat Up as well. <laughs> you never know. It's an option, but um, no, nah, he's probably going to get up his Rocks here. Uh, either way, I'm Scarfed. And I get off a knockoff, and his Azelf can no longer switch into any attack. So that's awesome. There's the Focus Sash. And uh, he goes for a Taunt, actually. Awesome, okay. So he doesn't even get up his rocks, which is cool. As he's going to switch out into his Avalug, which is not going to take much from this, but it is going to lose its leftovers in the process, which is awesome. Uh, now what I can do is I can go into Tentacruel, and uh, he's going to double back into his Azelf. Okay, so great play on his part. Um, I don't really want to take a psychic move, but I don't think he's gonna go for one. I'm gonna go for rapid spin He's gonna go for explosion. That's fine. As long as rocks don't go up That was the that was the game plan was to not allow rocks to go up uh, Now for all he knows I could have sludge bomb. So Azumarill is not a good play uh, But it would win him the game <laughs> right here. He doesn't even know it, but it would win him the game uh, Because I can't do anything about it um, If he belly drums that is of course But his better play here is probably to go into either Heracross if it has earthquake or Metagross and he does choose to go into Metagross. Now, what Metagross allows me to do is uh, pull out a switch into my Crook if I want to. Uh, which I think I do. Because his only attack that's actually going to do damage is, um, is Meteor Mash. So, that worked out nicely. Uh, now, the thing is, I don't want to lock myself into um, a Dark move because of his Azumarill. I'm very scared of that. He actually chooses to forfeit. Uh, no, we're not ending it like that. We're at 1411. Guys, we're at 1411. Where are we? We are number six on the UU ladder. Let's go. All right, one more, one more. We can do it. We can get top five. I didn't think I would be able to get top five today, but because I had to record twice, this is actually going to be a possibility. Now, this team looks very scary uh, because he has a Bisharp, and I don't deal well with Bisharp. So what I'm going to need to do is uh, lead off with Azelf as he leads off with Primarina. Okay. Now, something is dying, <laughs> no matter what. I'm actually going to switch into Cruel, because I don't want to take an attack. Uh, he's going to go for the Moonblast. That looks like Specs damage to me. And uh, he's not going to want to stay in on a Poison move. I'm going to go for Toxic Spikes. If he wants to switch into his Latios and Defog, that is fine. I will bring in my Crook uh, afterwards and uh, get off a Pursuit or a Knockoff. 
depending on what I want to do. But he does go into Latias, very good play. As uh, I'm not going to go directly into Crook, that's a very bad play. I think my better play is actually to go into Kiss. As he's going to click Draco, awesome, okay. Uh, now what we're going to do is... Man, I wish I had something with Defiant right about now. <laughs> that would be awesome. Um, I'm going to go for Nasty Plot. As he goes for a Psy Shock, it doesn't do that much, and he's Life Orb as well, which is awesome. Uh, and I'm going to go for Air Slash right here. Uh, and I'll tell you guys why, because there's a very good likelihood that he switches, but he doesn't. Okay, that's fine. Uh, this could knock him out. Nope, it doesn't. All right. Uh, Crook is kind of obvious. So I'm going to go for Roost. He just stays in in Psy Shocks. Okay. Well, you're never getting rid of my Toxic Spike, friend. Uh, that's for sure. So I really don't want to Pursuit here. I want to go for Knock. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we get the plus one. Primarina can come in, but I'll knock off its choice specs as a result. And uh, basically, I just need some iron defenses up. He goes into Blastoise. Does he have spin too? No way. Wait, this is Megastoise. Hold on. I gotta think about this. Um, I'm not gonna stay in here. I'm gonna go into Tentacruel. If he has spin on this too, that's crazy. He goes for Scald. Okay. It's a good thing we didn't stay in. Um, he also has a Gengar, which can get rid of the Toxic Spike, but if he's forced to go into Primarina for whatever reason first, that's awesome. Uh, so I'm gonna go for an Acid Spray here, lower his Special Defense, which is good, as he's gonna go for a Dark Pulse, and he gets a crit, so that's a little unfortunate. Uh, I don't think he's gonna Dark Pulse again. He could, but Cobalion is a big threat, like, big, big threat. Um, I don't really have a switch in, though, so I gotta go for a, uh, another Acid Spray here. He's actually going to switch out into his Primarina. Wow. Okay, awesome. So that's going to take an Acid Spray for no reason. Uh, and I'm going to go for a Scald here. That's fine. He stays in. He goes for the Scald of his own. And it is going to knock us out with another crit. However, um, if he doesn't burn me, do I win with Necrozma? I think I might. I think I might just win with Necrozma if he doesn't burn me. I still have to worry about Bisharp, though. But Bisharp has to click a dark move, and that gives me my switch into Cobalion. So maybe. Um, What's my best play here? Okay, this is actually a very complex situation right now. Well, yes and no. Because Crook can knock this out with an Earthquake, and I'm Scarfed. So I'll get a plus one. And his Blastoise is weakened as well. It's a 66. It can't switch in here. So yeah, I'm going to go Crook. And we are going to just straight go for the Earthquake, because we're Moxie. There we go. Awesome. So that's dead. Um, Gengar can't really switch in. He should know I'm Scarfed, because I, I beat his Latias. Um, do you take this? Blastoise. Uh, Mega Blastoise. Offensive Spinner versus uh, Crook. Uh, Choice Scarf. Earthquake at plus one. He does take it. He does take it, but he'll die to poison. This is really valuable, though. This is, like, super valuable. Hmm. I'm going to Azelf. There's no way he Dark Pulses. Yeah, he goes for Scald. Okay, good. Alright. <clears throat> so now he's in range of plus one uh, Earthquake, as we saw. He's definitely in range. So all I need to do is pull that off. Um, we are just going to go for the... Are rocks important here? I don't think they are. Um... But I mean, this just gives me an extra moxie, right? So that's good. And how much do I do if I'm not at plus one? I do 37. Yeah, I'm going for Stealth Rocks. It's fine. He goes for another Scald. Okay, cool. Um, okay, so what I need to do now is... I think go into Cobalion. Does Aura Sphere kill me if he's Aura Sphere? Aura Sphere to Cobalion. It shouldn't kill, right? Cobalion, um, defensive, offensive pivot, uh, no, that's not the set, Cobalion, Swords Dance, or Sphere actually does kill me, wow, um, I might be faster, I doubt it, does Cobalion CC kill, there's no way, nah, it doesn't do enough, alright, so, maybe that wasn't the best play, <laughs> now that I'm looking at it, uh, I mean, all out pummeling can take him out, and and then he'll force to, he'll be forced to go hippo, right? Yeah, okay. So I'm going Cob Cobalion here. 
Uh, and I'm going for the All Out Pummeling just in case he has Aura Sphere because it's a, definitely a very uh, big possibility. We're going to knock out the Blastoise, and what this allows me to do is uh, if he goes into Hippo, it's going to get poisoned. I don't believe this knocks me out with an Earthquake. Uninvested Hippowdon? No way. Yeah, it does 70 max. So now what I can do is I can go for a... Um, I can go for a Swords Dance. On his Earthquake. We'll live, obviously. And now we'll go for a Close Combat. And what this does is it allows me to... I'm glad he brought in Hippo first and not Gengar because now this thing is poisoned. And this is going to allow me to set up with Necrozma. Put this thing on a timer. Uh, I'm going to go for a an Iron Defense right here. Just in case he wants to switch in his Bisharp directly. As he's going to go for a Whirlwind. Okay, so good play. However, I think he might be in range of an Earthquake from Crook. Let's find out. Hippo, Mixwall versus Crocodile. Choice Scarf. Yeah, Earthquake kills. So we'll go for EQ. We knock that out. We are Scarfed. Um, if his Gengar comes out in and it outspeeds me and knocks me out with a Focus Blast, all I have to do is go into Crook, into um, Necrozma and set up a an Iron Defense. So we'll see right here. Is he Scarf Gengar? I'll set up an Iron Defense because he'll be forced to switch. Okay, it gets a crit with Dazzling Gleam. Uh, but I'm going to go into Necrozma. I'm going to go for the Iron Defense because he's pretty much forced to switch. And he goes into Bisharp. Uh, but I can't hit this. I just realized. Wow, that crit actually mattered, didn't it? Hold on. Gengar. Life Orb without the Life Orb. Dazzling Gleam. Uh, give me Daz. Dazzling Gleam. Yeah, that definitely mattered. Wow. No way. Okay, I'm going for another Iron Defense. He goes for a knockoff. It does absolutely nothing. As he's Life Orb. Okay, so he's eventually going to have to attack me uh, and do damage to himself. So I'm going to start going for Calm Mind, actually, because his knockoffs do nothing at the moment. Uh, and this also allows me to take a Shadow Ball. So I'm going to go for Moonlight right here. Um, as he's going to go for the Iron Head, he's going for Flinches. But that's not a good play, actually. His best play is to go for, uh, for knockoffs. As we're now at max defense, uh, you guys saw how much knockoff did at plus two. That's when we had an item. So we should be okay. I'm going to keep going for Calm Mind as he go goes up to max. So... I think we're okay. I think we're only going to take about 30 from these. So as long as he doesn't crit me, I should be good. Uh, it goes for an Iron Head. He's going for the flinches. Uh, I'm going to go for a Moonlight on this turn because I can't risk anything. Uh, as he does go for another Iron Head. And we are going to get off the Moonlight. Awesome. And uh, now we just go for another Moonlight on his Iron Head. And uh, he's slowly wearing himself down, which is awesome. As we can go for another Calm Mind. As he goes for an Iron Head. Cool. And as long as he doesn't flinch me, I'm good to go. He has to keep attacking me. He should be going for knockoff because it has a chance to crit me. Uh, well, so does uh, Iron Head, but he's going to go for another Iron Head. It's almost going to kill me. And he flinches me twice in a row. Wow. <laughs> GG. That's insane. That's crazy that he actually flinched me twice in a row. He crit me with Dazzling Gleam, and then he flinches me twice in a row. <gasps> oh cruel world <laughs> it's all good anyway guys uh that's gonna be the team it's a really cool team uh if you guys want to use it i'll leave a link to the paste bin uh in the description down below that brian left me uh he told me that i could make some modifications to the team if i wanted to specifically with necrozma actually which was interesting uh because he did bring up that running hidden power bug over like either call mind or iron defense specifically iron defense because call mind is kind of needed for stored power but if you want to run hp bug instead uh to be able to hit dark types it's very useful so, I think my play there was to switch out into Necrozma and then just go for uh, an Iron Defense uh, and then, like, double back into uh, into Crook, I guess. Because he was Scarfed anyway, and we outsped Bisharp regardless of our Scarf, so uh, we could have definitely won that game. I played that a little bit sloppy at the end, but if you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. Uh, I'll try to leave a link to Brian's channel if he has one. I don't remember if he does. I'm sorry. I'm going to check my GOT video, but... Um, if he does, then make sure to check him out in the description down below as well. Fantastic player, and uh, we will catch you guys later. Ciao.